Well, welcome to the start of our little topic on fractions. Um, I'm really looking forward to this one. You already know more about fractions than you probably realise. Naturally, we use them in our everyday world. Now, let's say if we were, when we were doing our measures investigations, we were measuring with a cubit. And what you might have done is measured, let's say you were measuring the length of a table and you measured one, two cubits, and then there was a bit more. Uh, you might have said something like two and a half, but you might have realised, well, it's not quite two and a half, um, and then adjusted th from there. But you're likely there to have used a fraction. Uh, I'll show you another example where fractions are often used, which is shoe sizes. Um, so I like to be very accurate with the size of the football boots that I buy. Um, a size eight is that little bit too tight. A size nine is a little bit too big. So I go for an eight and a half. Now we're going to start off in our investigation on, uh, on, on all our work on fractions by thinking about what we naturally know about fractions through fairness. We all like it being fair. Um, so I hope you're going to find it really useful. So today's video is called Why Fractions? We're going to have a look at examples where fractions are used and some examples where they aren't and look at why they're helpful. And we'll look at what you already understand in your natural way of working and thinking and, and sharing and, and how that's really useful for understanding fractions. Um, if we were looking at a time like this one, we had a look at this a few weeks ago, we could say this is four o'clock. Um, and there we could describe that time as 4.45, but we'd normally say it's quarter to five. So we'll often use fractions when we're looking at time, quarter past half, past quarter two. Also, we might use them for describing age. So this, let's say this little fella, um, he is, his age is represented by this line. So you can see his first birthday was a while ago. It's not, he's not yet two. Um, so how old? Well, we could say he's one, but that really doesn't describe his age very, very well because he's gone all this time since he was one. So it might be that someone might say, oh, he's one and a half, um, or he's a bit more than one and a half. Now, we probably wouldn't give the exact fraction here for this exact place, but we often use fractions to describe our age as well. You, you might say, for example, that you are eight and a half. Now, fractions can be really useful when we're sharing in some situations. Now, if there were uh, four people and they were sharing these 12 sweets, then we wouldn't need fractions. Why not? Well, we just share them like that. E each of the four people would get three sweets each. So there's no need for fractions there. We've got whole amounts. But let's say we come to share this pizza and we've got one pizza. Now, I can't describe in, in a whole number how much that I'll get because I'll get some part of that pizza. And so then I would need to use fractions to describe that. So, for example, each person would get a quarter of a pizza, of a pizza, one out of the four pieces. Now, let's have a look at this example here. So if I said to you, what is three divided by four? You might well say, I can't do that. I don't know what three divided by four is. But if there were four people and there were three pieces of toast and they had to share them so it's fair, I think that they would find a way to work it out. And you're kind of natural way of being. You would figure out how to do it. So this is your challenge now. So you're going to do three divided by four. Or, put another way, these three pieces of toast, share them fairly between these four people. Uh, pause the video. You might want to do a drawing to help you to show how that can be shared. Have a go. Now, there's a couple of different ways I often see this done. So it might be that you did something like this. You thought, well, what I'm going to do is these two pieces of toast uh, I'll split those in half and each person can have a half. Um, so each one's got a half so far. And then this last piece of toast, I'll split that into four pieces, into quarters. And so each person will have a quarter of this piece of toast. So in total, each person will have a half plus a quarter. Or maybe instead you did this. You split each piece of toast into quarters. And so it's almost like you thought, well, each person has a quarter of this one and a quarter of this one and a quarter of this one. So in total, they have three quarters. So there, those two ways, this way and this way, we end up with the same amount of toast. We end up with three quarters. Um, in this example, we described it as a half plus a quarter. And here, we just describe it as one, two, three quarters. But can you see, you can actually use fractions to calculate with um, just from your real world understanding. Now, do we need fractions? So have a look at these examples here. There's four examples. Three pizzas shared between six children. Ten toys shared between four children. Four children share 20 grapes. 
and four children share five pieces of toast. So for which of those examples do we need fractions? For which wouldn't we use fractions? Um, now, again, if you want a bit of a challenge to extend yourself, see if you can work out how much each, how much per child. Uh, pause the video and have a go at those four examples. So let's have a look at those examples. Three pizzas shared between six children. Again, maybe here you thought, well, we could split each pizza into six pieces, into sixths. So um, what would happen is maybe each person gets a sixth from here and a sixth from here and a sixth from here. So they get three pieces that are a sixth of a pizza. Or maybe instead you thought three pizzas shared between six children cut each pizza in half. So then we would have six halves. So each child, we could describe them as having three sixths or a half. But either way, we're using fractions to cut up those three pizzas. Now, ten toys shared between four children. Um, of course, toys, you can't cut them up. We don't, we don't want to cut these toys up to make it fair. You could say, well, each child has two toys and then there's two left over. And of those leftover ones, we can't split them up. So there, I don't think we would use fractions. Um, what about four children share 20 grapes? Well, actually, we don't need to split up the grapes here. If we share them equally, then each child will have five. So that one doesn't need fractions. It's whole numbers. Well, what about four children share five pieces of toast here? Well, for this one, I think that we'd end up with each child would have a piece of toast. We'd have one whole one, one, two, three, four, one for each child. And then this piece of toast, we could split this one up as well. We could split that one into quarters. So each child would get one and a quarter pieces of toast. Now, that takes us to some of the big ideas of fractions. You're used to knowing that six is more than four. But what we have to learn when we're looking at fractions is that a quarter is more than a sixth. And again, we might look at this one and think, well, this must be the biggest. Two eighths must be much bigger than these other fractions because two is more than one and eight is, is, is more than six and more than four. Let's see, though, if we can tie this to, to your actual real world understanding and what you would do in a situation. Let's say we had one pizza and this one pizza was shared between four people. Well, what we'd end up doing is we'd take that pizza and we'd cut it into four equal pieces and they'd best be equal. Otherwise, I'm sure there'll be someone that wouldn't be happy. Now, I think that you would actually know as well that if you had one pizza and you were sharing it between six people, that you would know, well, you'd end up getting less than if it was one pizza shared between four people. Because this pizza is going to be split into more pieces. So the sixth is the number of pieces it's split into. And so a sixth is actually going to be less than a quarter. Let's see. Can you see that each sixth is less than each quarter? Now, what about two eighths? Um, if I was to say, well, two pizzas shared between eight people. I wonder what you do then. I wonder what you do. Um, now, my thought is it might be that you could do this. Take each pizza and split each pizza into quarters. And so now I've got eight pieces. So how much does each person get? They get a quarter. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight um, quarters there. So two pizzas shared between eight people you get the same amount of pizza, a quarter, as one pizza shared between four people. So a quarter and two eighths are the same. Now, this is how we need to tie your just real world understanding of fairness and sharing with fractions. And then it'll help you so much. So everyone, today's tasks, click on that blue link underneath the video. Have a go at either task A or task B. And again, they're very similar. It's just that some of the level of the challenge in the calculation used is different on task B. So I'm going to explain task A and um, part A. So I've already given lots of examples where fractions are used in the real world. So for example, measuring shoe sizes, describing someone's age and sharing food. Can you think of any other examples in your world where fractions are naturally used? Examples that we've not come up with so far in the video. Now, for part B, some of these questions, you'll need to give the answer as a fraction and some of them you won't. Now, if you need a little bit of help actually answering the questions, see, can you do any drawings that can help you to, uh, to understand what the question is asking you to do? Now, again, circle the questions that do involve fractions. So some of them do and some of them don't. 
and for part C again estimate the size of this top part of the banana as a fraction uh, so again the questions are similar for task B for task B uh, the level of challenge in the calculation in part B differs slightly uh, so enjoy this one and we'll be back to build even further tomorrow